It's Workforce Weekly Wednesday, and it's the new year. We've got a lot of ground to cover, and the next two, three weeks in particular are going to be interesting and valuable um, for us and for this coalition to stand up and, 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 and react and respond and lean in where we can. Yesterday was the state of the state. Next week, you'll see the preliminary budgets from both the state and the city. And then the week after is the state of the city address. So one right after another, we're going to have a lot of ground to cover. Uh, hot takes on the state of the state, by the way, maybe was what wasn't said. I mean, we didn't hear about migrants and new arrivals and investments being made there. We didn't hear about a big swing at addressing a housing crisis. We did hear uh, commitments on AI and healthcare. There is in the book of initiatives an interesting path to an office of workforce development and research data. Shout out to, to NIATEP for championing that cause. And it's gonna be very interesting to see what that looks like and how that gets used to support our efforts and work. And of course, um, there was in a, a commitment to addressing mental health needs, especially as it relates to young adults from our governor and the governor's address. And we certainly do support that commitment and effort. All that said, there's a lot of ground to cover and the focus on employment numbers or the focus on workforce investment more broadly or the focus on how it is that all of the investments are in place to make sure that workers have pathways um, to skill or reskill. We didn't hear much of that in the state of the state. Maybe we'll hear it in the city of the city, but the question will always become the same. How does it all get paid for? How do we pay for it? How do we make sure that those investments are sustainable over time? That's what we'll be talking and thinking about. That's what we have to think about on the city and the state side, because that intersection and that connection has never mattered more. Happy 2024, everyone. I know I always say this, but there's lots of work to do.